Hey, this is Danielle Delate for The Buzz in Hollywood at the Dolby Theatre for the live shows for America's Got Talent. The red carpet's about to start, so let's check it out. What's up, guys? How are you? I seem to be okay. <laughs> That's good. Don't, 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 you don't got to be scared of anything. Okay. So um, I got to admit, as cheesy as it might sound, my life has felt like a deck of playing cards, a deck that I thought was going to stick. Very picky. Every time I'm doing an interview and they're asking stuff, I'm like, what can I say? I can't, yeah. I'm not even able to really tell a yeah. story. I can't say anything. Don't say anything. Next time, just do tricks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, just do performances. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so. I know, because I don't know what to expect from this interview at all, because yeah, yeah. your performance this evening was mind-blowing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. I think... One of the reasons that I got started into magic is because of this exact thing. I actually used to do music full time. And um, I don't know, it just became one of those things where I feel like sometimes when you're pursuing a career, like it's never enough numbers, it's never enough fans, it's never enough likes. But magic's one of those things, you know, you can just sit with a person at a dining room table and it's just, it's so fun. And so whether it's like a huge stage or just sitting at a table with somebody, it's, it's why I love it. It's those responses, it's seeing the smiles mm -hmm. on people's faces, that's, it's incredible. It's kind of like that energy, you change, you break someone out from they have to be in the moment, they have to be present yes, definitely. and focused and you just, you take the worries of every day away <laughs> from them and it's just, you're focused on that. Thank you, I yeah. appreciate it. It's literally the hugest compliment ever because for me, you know, I just, I want to feel like the stuff that I'm doing has meaning, that it's doing something for a person and so I feel like anytime I leave a place and people are like, wow, you're really good, I, I feel like I've kind of failed, you know, I want people knowing that there's something special and unique about them that their takeaway is maybe they feel a little bit better than they did before they were there. So yeah. I'd really appreciate yeah. that encouragement. Yeah. It's awesome. Thank oh, you. Thank you so much. Now, wait, you said you did music before. I didn't realize this. Yeah. So when did you go into, into magic? Yeah. So actually, when I was like eight years old, I started doing magic. Loved it. Learned to like twist balloons. Um, started randomly doing like birthday parties and stuff like that because actually there was... There was a guy that came and spoke at our church and he was doing some things helping homeless people and stuff like that. And he asked if anyone in the church wanted to help and I raised my hand not realizing he was talking to the adults. And so he was actually the first person that just really took me seriously and asked, you know, what, is, what are the things that you love and, um, and how can we use that to help other people? And so once I got to about like, you know, 12, 13 years old, I kind of got embarrassed that I was a clown, but, but I, I kind of kept that same heartbeat of like the things that I love. I want to I want to use to just be a light to people and so yeah I did music for a long time and then I don't know I feel like as it just kind of started feeling a little bit impersonal and mm -hmm. I, I love social media mm -hmm. but I feel like sometimes it felt hard to really feel connected with with human beings and magic's one of those things that makes me feel really connected to human beings and so that was my long answer to your, to your question. <laughs> no, that's great, that's beautiful. Uh, just finally how was Howie as your assistant? Yeah you okay. Pass? 100% like it's one of those things where you're like what's judge should I ask to come up here are they gonna are they gonna want to come up here but Howie definitely made it so fun his little banter and his funny little jokes uh, I, I went in a little bit nervous but I think getting to interact with him in a way that felt very real made me feel a lot more comfortable even as I counted the wrong amount of cards at first I felt like I was sitting with a human which made me feel like I w it was okay to mess up <laughs> Well, congratulations on this evening. I Thank hope to see so a lot much. more of you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. you guys. I'm Dustin Tavella, and you've just been buzzed.